All right, everyone, welcome back. Here we are in Wyoming. We're at Buffalo Bills Dam. Uh, Buffalo Bill is very well known in this area. I believe that's what they named Cody, Wyoming after. But uh, we're gonna head down to the dam, which is over there, which I'll show you, and then we'll go explore a little bit more in Cody. I think we're gonna do some thrift stores, um, see if McDonald's has anything besides the usual Big Macs and chicken nuggets, probably. Always been curious about that. Everyone tells me to go to McDonald's in different areas. They have different stuff. It's not like the high point of Wyoming, but we'll check it out. Uh, but right here, enjoying this beautiful view. Beautiful, beautiful view. Of the water that leads up to the dam. You can even see where the, uh, how high the water got at one time. I guess before they uh, let the water go through or whatever it is. Oh man, there is some eccentric views I should say in this area let's go check out this dam see what it's all about wow that is a far way down first real dam I've ever been on. I don't think I've ever been on a dam in my life. Across the street is the famous Cody Stampede Park where they have rodeos every night during summer months. Instead, we're gonna turn around here and head into the Habitat Restore. See what's here. Cast iron skillet, $24.95. Old Wagner. Wagner Sydney. Can we ship it back? I don't think. No. <laughs> Could ship it back. It's in great shape. Alright, now we're at the thrift store. No purses or bags allowed in the store. No purses or bags. Alright, well, let's see how well this goes. Boom. Wow. It's only ten dollars now. It seems expensive for a thrift store, but this is mint. Adidas. You don't find a lot of Adidas jerseys. They do have more cast iron here than anywhere I've ever seen. Number nine. I don't know what it is though. It's eighteen dollars. This is a great thrift store. It's an old Braves hat. They're usually in the weird size. No, this is perfect size. Wow. All right. And check out this find. Liquid blue. Vikings t-shirt. It's Cody Wyoming. It has a lot of great stuff. All right. So, got some goodies there for $4 and uh, a face rub. Yeah, so you name your price apparently, and then also she asked me if I if she can feel my face and rub my beard, which it's probably a first for me here, but it's Cody Wyoming, right? Got some cool things, got some hats. We got this vintage Yellowstone shirt, which I gotta show you. I'll throw it up here. The price you suggested was my price, so there was like name your price, so I said how about seven dollars? And then they gave me a look and I was like, is that too much? I don't know. And then she's like, how about four dollars plus tax? So I just gave her whatever. More than four dollars in tax. Anyway, nice vintage Yellowstone shirt here. Look at this beauty. Yellowstone Park, Wyoming. I don't know what that tag was. Maybe a screen, uh, velvet sheen, I think it was. This is old. This is 80s. Very cool. And I got my Viking shirt. Oh, Thrift stores are interesting out here. I think they're consignment slash antique stores. This is $20 for this bottle. Also, they have bottles at a thrift store. A lot of different bottles. You have Sprite bottles, 7-Up, some antiques. Some of the stuff in here is like $90 for a jersey. Other things are like three bucks. I don't know if these are. Oh, that's cool. How much is this? 
forty dollars. So I, I just these thrift stores throw me for a loop out here. All right, now in the middle of Cody, Wyoming, they're actually about to start their high school parade. It's homecoming. This is downtown Cody. Looks like the fair is over with, or uh, parade. That's Irma Buffalo Bill's original hotel, one of the more historical places in this town. Very cool. Stopped off at, uh, well, hold on, this is a whole list of all stuff they got in there. It's called Raw Eyed Coffee. Got myself the lovely iced coffee. Cold brew. Actually, what a guy. Tastes amazing. All right. Even get a Cody Wyoming shirt. For the video, Let's see if they have my size because they don't have it in green. They don't have that. And this is uh, Cody High School football, local high school, I guess. Well, the high school of Cody. Wyoming. to McDonald's and we have a coupon here for free large fries because it's Grizz and Cats game days. I know the Grizz are, I think are Montana Grizzlies but I wanted to see if McDonald's had anything else other than the usual. So kind of interesting here for iced coffee you had to get you know, two flavors there's no just normal iced coffee everything else is sold out. They also don't have bagel sandwiches here which I know after pandemic they kind of got rid of them in some states. But other than that, there's nothing different. They're all the same things with different pricing. I mean, we're off by like 50 cents, but no crazy bison burger sandwich, nothing like that. All right, exploring a little bit more than just Cody, Wyoming. I stop here in Powell, Wyoming. There's also another habitat store here, so it's a little bit larger. Uh, we'll see what's here. This one. Exploring the many, many things of uh, I was about to say Virginia, West Virginia, of Wyoming. It's kind of a, a ghost town out here. We're also the only car here. This one's much larger than the one in Cody. They actually have toilets and all sorts of stuff. A lot of overstock, tile. See if there's any knickknacks. Oh, it's, it's kind of like a thrift store with like a little bit of other stuff mixed in. If there's any local advertisement, I'm not seeing much here. Pampered Chef. Yeah, I figure with some of these small thrift stores, you might find some little local pieces, RB t shirts, clothing, whatever it might be. Thrift stores are so interesting out here. It's almost like they're all boutiques with a little bit of thrift to them. There's no real Salvation Armies or Goodwills within two hours of Cody, but everything is like a boutique antique store with a little bit of thrift in it. It's, it's different.
these are actually really cheap for what they are. Now it might seem stupid that you go out and buy these, but for two dollars for these slabs, it's really cheap. I even imagine you could probably flip them on eBay if you really want to. Great for weddings. I have to show you this. Seven hundred and fifty dollars. Valley still yeah. yellow opium. I've never seen this. They got the black light up there going. Or uranium glass. 750. I've never seen someone display it like this at a thrift store. Also, I don't know what this is, which is very cool. I guess that's corningware with a mushroom on it. Can't say I've seen that before. That across the street is the old Cody Post Office. Not sure if it's still the post office, but it's known as the old Cody Post Office. Downtown Cody. There was also an auction yesterday at the Cody Auditorium. We were going to go see what it was like. There's a thrift store down the, the street that I, I was stopped at, but uh, we we're going to go stop at the auction. However, it seemed to be mostly taxidermy and hunting and fishing related items, a lot of western wear, not really the old box lots and antiques that you find on East Coast. Even the soda machines out west have cowboy hats. Even the soda machines. Old Cody Dairy, wholesale retail. Old dairy shop. Horses are a huge thing here in Wyoming. Let them go. They are very beautiful creatures. If you've never seen one up close, I have. We have a bunch in my area, but uh, out here, a horse and ranch, that whole lifestyle is very, very large. Uh, it seems like almost every single house out here has a little ranch going on and one or two horses currently eating. I don't think I'm going to ride one. I've never ridden a horse. Probably could just ask and say, hey, can I ride the horse around? But don't know if I want to take a tumble right now. Probably won't be for the best. <laughs> this ain't going take. out so well. <laughs> Got it? <laughs> All right. So they say they can eat like pretty much anything. Well, so literally this can be my new hobby. It's just coming out here and feeding horses. Just... Has more. Why not? I know you love that. Jeez. Don't want any more? Alright, see you later. This one's gonna take it. Got a full mouth over there, bud. There you go. I know you want more. Can do an ASMR channel just listening to uh, them chomp. All right, everyone. Looks like that's going to wrap it up here for the trip to Wyoming and Yellowstone. The last uh, two videos, well, this video and the Yellowstone video has been a compilation of total of one week so I combined it all into two episodes but we're back in new work just landed it's been a very long day it's been a very long trip I'm very excited to go back and see salsa got more planes taking off so I got about another hour in this trip
hour and a half till uh, get back to Pennsylvania, but it's been an awesome trip. Wyoming's an awesome state. Uh, kind of just showed off Cody, Wyoming. Great town if you guys want to visit. Uh, it's very tourist friendly as well and has the very authentic western kind of feel to it. So if you guys want to check it out, go ahead. And if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely smack the like button. Subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. I'm going to try to get dry and give the pup a good old hug. And catch you guys next time. Next adventure. Peace.